It's time for the Drugless Doctor. Call our friend or family member now and let them benefit from today's exciting and life-changing program. If you want to lead a healthier life, the time is now. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony DiMaria, accompanied by Dr. Kaysen DiMaria, and this is another exciting episode of The Drugless Doctor. And today, this topic is one that is so near and dear to my heart. I know that you're going to get something out of this so profound that it can impact your family and your friends for generations to come. Now, I have the privilege of just sharing with you some of this information that is going to knock your socks off. Now, we're going to be talking about pregnancy and pediatrics here for the next little while. This is an important time of somebody's life. Now, I don't always get the opportunity to talk a little bit about myself, but I want to share about Dr. Kaysen and my adventure with chiropractic pregnant women and kids. Now, uh, I've been out of practice, I should say, I've been in practice and out of school for four years. And what was going on in the last four years and even in through chiropractic school, I knew that I wanted to work with pregnant moms and kids. One of the reasons why is that helps to set up the next generation. We want a generation of strong Americans that are healthy and happy and can make great decisions. And that starts with help, healthy and happy kids. So throughout chiropractic school, Dr. Casey and I took some advanced classes on pregnancy and pediatrics. Once we started into these classes with some of the very best chiropractors in the world when it came to pregnancy and pediatrics, we decided that we needed to do some more advanced training with pregnancy and pediatrics. So we joined an organization called the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association. Now the ICPA is one of the largest organizations within chiropractors. There's about 60 to 70,000 chiropractors active in the United States and there are several thousand members of the ICPA. Now one of the great things about the ICPA is they do extensive post-grad training with pregnancy and pediatrics. So Dr. Kaysen and I have completed their 200-hour post-grad training course, which includes a lot of different seminars, different hands-on approaches, research. It includes different types of testing, and we are certified by that organization. So our official qualifications are Doctor of Chiropractic, certified by the Council of Chiropractic on Family Practice. So we are CACCP certified in order to work with pregnancy and pediatrics. Now, why is that certification important? Anybody that sees a chiropractor can work with pregnant, or I should say any chiropractor can work with pregnant women and children. What a CACCP certified doctor means is we're more advanced, to have more advanced training in order to handle wellness cases, in order to handle more serious cases when it comes to pregnancy and pediatrics. But it gives you peace of mind to know that we know what to do with pregnant women and pediatrics in our office so that they can get the very, very, very best results. Now, again, I, like I mentioned, I don't always get the opportunity to talk a little bit about myself, but I'm going to today because this is really important. Dr. Casey and I are the only two chiropractors in the northern Ohio area around Cleveland that are CACCP certified. So if someone wants a more natural approach for their child and for their pregnancy, the very best location is the husband and wife team that are CACCP certified as a part of the Drugless Doctors. Now, Dr. Kaysen, I talked a little bit about my journey. Why don't you talk a little bit about your journey with the ICPA, what you're passionate about, and why this is important to you? I can tell you that uh, the past four years have really been truly exciting in our practice and I know Dr. Anthony you are sharing your passion for pregnant moms and kids and if your passion is pregnancy and kids mine is way above that because when working with these pregnant moms and kids I feel like time literally stops for me because I know how important it is for that first adjustment and also helping to assist in supporting all these pregnant moms that they want to have healthy deliveries healthy babies and they really don't um, or aren't aware of all the options for them out there. And I feel like as a part of the ICPA and being the CACCP certified, 
we are out there looking and giving you all the resources that you need to make a better choice and educated decisions on what you're gonna be choosing for the outcome of your newborn. Now, I know, Dr. Anthony, you were talking about our, our post-grad training, but I also want to talk about something else we're certified in, and we're certified in something called the Webster Technique. And the Webster Technique, for any of you that aren't, aren't familiar with it, it's a specific technique to allow for proper positioning of the pelvis for a pregnant mom. And why it's so important for pregnant moms to make sure that their pelvis is in the proper position is if you're birth process was traumatic for you. And by traumatic, I mean that the natural vaginal delivery process, that is 90 pounds of pressure on your brain and spinal cord when you're first born. And that's a vaginal delivery. We're seeing now in our society more so, there are, are more C-sections, more interventions that are going on, which are more traumatic for the baby and the spinal cord. So with talking about kids and pregnant moms, if your brain is sending all those messages at 100%, what are the chances that you're gonna be able to have your optimal birth outcome or, or have that baby wanting to be in that natural, normal pelvis? So with the Webster technique, we have pregnancy pillows that moms can actually lay on so we can do a specific chiropractic analysis of the pelvis and do a very gentle and specific adjustment to what we call the sacrum. If your sacrum is out of position from slips or falls, sports, backpacks, even yourself, any kind of previous um, gravity, pos posture, all these things can impact your body. So we do specific adjustments to normalize that proper pelvic motion. With chiropractic care, there are also studies that have been shown that with the Webster technique, it, it decreases dystocia, which is the difficulty during labor. It helps to improve natural, normal contractions so that if your goal is to have that normal, healthy pregnancy, uh, it decreases the chances of having to use um, other things like epidurals and and other factors that are going on, things that, that would induce you. Your body can naturally send those messages. So with working with pregnant moms and kids, I love being able to be a resource for them. And some of the things that we talk about in our initial appointments are, what is your birth plan? And a lot of times with, with moms coming in, their OB may not be asking them what their birth plan is until farther along down the road. And a lot of moms now, I'm finding that they don't even know what is a birth plan, Dr. Kaysen and Dr. Anthony? So we sit down and we go over some questions with them, what that entails, what are your goals, what are, are your goals for your overall outcome, what are things that you would wanna know before going in to interview your birth provider? And that's a big thing you wanna do is you wanna be interviewing who is the right fit for your birth team? Who's gonna be there to support you, to be able to follow the guidelines that you and your spouse want because if you're not making those decisions now or not doing the research now, what are the chances that you're gonna be funneled in, like uh, typically a lot of women are, to go with protocol, which might not be your ideal birth plan, me. You know, we're just having this conversation. I'm just thinking about all the pregnant women that we've been able to work with over the last four years and the stories that they share with us. Some of my favorite are, and I hear this all the time, if, if, if this is their, their second, third, fourth, or fifth child, what I always hear when someone's with us is, this is my best pregnancy that I've ever had. What does that mean? Less back pain, less headaches, better motion, better sleep, better digestion, less of the things that they had experienced on any of their previous pregnancies. And we'll say, really? And they'll say, yeah. I said, they know what we're doing with them is impacting them so prominently. It's so important. Now, when's the best time to start chiropractic care when, if you're pregnant? Uh, the very best answer is preconception. Before you decide to get pregnant, in order to have a healthy pregnancy, we always encourage someone to create a conversation with us about coming up with the plan in order to make sure that their body's healthy enough in order to get pregnant. And throughout that process, being checked with, by a chiropractor in order to make sure that the brain sends the right messages to the body. Now, I hear this from, and we'll talk about this here in a little bit, is our conversations with birth providers like midwives or OBGYNs is women who get regular chiropractic care during their pregnancy have the least amount of interventions used. They usually have swifter pregnancies than others, 
and they have far less complications. Now let's talk a little bit about the kid aspect of this. Now, one of my favorite parts is when our kids are getting adjusted in our office and I have someone that's new to our practice, they kind of put their head to the side and they look into the where we're doing our adjustments and they didn't realize that chiropractors worked with kids. It's a different model of health than you might be used to. People come and see a chiropractor, not necessarily because they have a challenge, but because they want to be challenge free and get and stay healthy, especially when it comes with kids. Our parents that bring kids in for their regular chiropractic care have some of the healthiest kids out of anybody. I hear this all the time. Little Johnny and little Sally that come into the office and they get adjusted are the healthiest in their class. It's not saying that they never get sick. Their bodies are better able to fight what's going on because of what we do with them chiropractically. I happen to be a chiropractic kid and I know that I was healthier than all of my friends and peers and it didn't dawn on me sometime later in life that these are the steps that I took as a kid growing up with chiropractic care set myself up for success. Now it's very common in our societies to have people that have glasses or people that have asthma, people that have all these other challenges. I don't have any of those challenges. I don't wear glasses. I have 20-10 vision. Chiropractic care is awesome for kids. It's awesome for pregnant moms. And Dr. Kaysen and I want you to have an awareness of who should get chiropractic care and why they should come and see us. Now we're gonna take a short break and we're gonna talk a little bit more about this topic. I'm a chiropractor because my, my goal, my passion is to help people get better without medication. There's different types of chiropractic. I wanted to be involved in something that was bigger than myself. Here I would say it's been so much more than just seeing those lives transform, it's been being able to be a part of their transformation. Wellness is a state of mental, social, and physical well-being. Really wellness is from the inside out being able to have your body make the decisions on its own, naturally, without drugs, medications, or, or surgeries. We work and strive at addressing each one of those different facets of wellness so that it's really a, a well-rounded overall approach for an individual. I think the atmosphere is really very welcoming. I think all three really work well together as a team. It's, it's much more than you would find somewhere else. The individuality of it, uh, the recommendations, the doctor's expertise. We do not use a cookie cutter plan. Every person that comes into our office is very unique and they have specific plans and treatment protocols specific for their findings. Utilizing our innovative tools and technology, we're able to get the best results and faster and it's really easy on, on the practice member, specifically with the thermal scans that we do by measuring the ambient skin temperature, we're able to measure from each assessment how the pattern's changing. We offer digital video fluoroscopy, motion films of a person's spine, getting right to the root cause. From someone that was previously diagnosed with ADHD and was having developmental delays in speech, working with them here and seeing the transformation of them developmentally, other things, attention span, energy, colic, all these things that are improving over a period of time. So whether it's a little baby that's getting adjusted for the first time or a mom that's getting adjusted or an athlete, it's really cool to see what we're able to do and how that can impact their life for the long term. The two things, chiropractic care and nutrition go hand in hand and you really need both components. You can't just say, I'll do whatever I want nutritionally and then just have chiropractic care and Dr. Bob will just fix me. Really, you have to have both going together. In our wellness store, we offer a variety of different products. They're all professional lines and products that are tried and true. We have many different types of evaluations and assessments that can tell us what supplement is gonna be best for one of our practice members here in the office so that we're just not throwing the dice when it comes to their health. The Drugless Doctors is very forward thinking. It's a lot different than anything else that I had ever seen before. So I felt like I was learning something new. We have information on social media. 
our website, our blog, we do TV programs, so we're always putting out good quality information because more often than not I hear from somebody, I never knew that, or I got that information from a magazine or a TV program and I never really knew that that wasn't correct. So being able to give them simple tools and natural principles that they can be able to empower themselves to make every day, that's really, it, it, it's really exciting for me to be able to see people and their changed lifestyles. Come and join us and participate with natural drugless chiropractic care. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Anthony DiMaria, accompanied by Dr. Kaysen DiMaria, and this has been an exciting episode of The Drugless Doctor. So we've been talking about today something called the ICPA, which is the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, and Dr. Kaysen and my qualification as a CACCP certified chiropractor. Now, like I mentioned previously, all chiropractors are qualified to work with pregnant moms and kids. What CACCP means is that we've done extensive post-grad training in order to work with kids and pregnant women so that we can make sure that they have optimal health and healing inside their body. Now we have a lot of great tidbits that we wanna make sure to share with people before the end of this program. One of them and the biggest center, the biggest center of this is chiropractic care. When a pregnant mom or a child gets regular chiropractic care, it sets their body up for success. Some of the items that we do with kids is also related to nutrition. I'm gonna go over some brief nutritional protocols that we work with kids that are getting chiropractic care. We use a prenatal pack in our office from Biotics Research Corporation. In our opinion, it's the very best because it doesn't have junk, it doesn't have sugar, it doesn't have harmful additives. We encourage pregnant moms to do the prenatal pack with a half a tablet of iodine, add some calcium and and vitamin D, and possibly some additional optimal EFA oils. Those are all something that someone needs to be doing in order to have a happy, healthy pregnancy. As far as kids, there's so many different ways to help support a kid nutritionally. What I have found is that for immune system, there's something called IAG, which is a great tasting powder for immune boosting in kids. Using one to two drops of Agricept in a bottle of water also helps using something called Kids Defense Drops from Gaia Herbs also helps kids. There's another multiple vitamin that we use with kids called Aqueous Multi Plus. It's a liquid, it's pleasant tasting, it's a way for them to get their vitamins. Now, nutrition is just a part of it. Chiropractic care is really important. Now, Dr. Kaysen, why is it important that we're CACCP certified and what does that mean for pregnant moms, kids, and other providers? When someone's out there and they're looking for a chiropractor to help with a pregnant mom or they want to help to support their child with their growth spurts, also with working with kids, we help to make sure that their brain and their nervous system communicate can communicate so they can have healthy immune systems. Kids come into our office, they might be experiencing breastfeeding difficulties, colic, constipation, Maybe they're, they're, the mom's noticing that they're not crawling properly. There are milestones they're meeting as far as this is helping them also with concentration and focus in school. We have a lot of kids that have been previously diagnosed with ADHD, autism, um, Down syndrome, all these different things. It's not that we're treating the diagnosis or the sim symptom. We as chiropractors are working with their master control system, with working on making sure that those messages are at 100% flowing their body is able to heal and we're not adding any additional stressors. But with looking for a chiropractor, if you're looking in, in our um, area, in the Cleveland area, I know Dr. Anthony and I are the only doctors that are CACCP certified, but also we're talking about the Webster technique, which we are certified in for uh, balancing the pregnant moms in their pelvis. But if you're not in our area, what I want you to do is go to the icpaforkids.org this is their international, the International Chiropractic and Pediatric Association. This is their website. What I want you to do is click the tab up there. It says find a chiropractor. Type in your zip code. What's going to happen is it's going to pull up all the chiropractors in your area, and you're looking for someone that is Webster certified for your pregnancy, 
also CACCP certified. This means that they've done the two hour postgraduate training with their research and all the hands-on modules. You wanna be confident and comfortable with the chiropractor so that they are able to help you with whatever you may need to help to support the body. Also, what I wanna encourage you to do is any pregnant mom or anyone out there that's looking for more information for health and healing for kids and families, there's a great newsletter by the ICPA. It's called Pathways to Family Wellness. And if you were to go to their website, www.pathwaystofamilywellness.org, you can sign up for their free newsletter. Also, I would encourage you to subscribe to the magazine. The articles are amazing. We use this as resources for our pregnant moms. They have articles on breastfeeding and the role of the, the dad in the whole birth process. Also, information on vaccines and labor and other things and exercises you can do during that. Recently, there was an article on questions that you should be asking your OB or midwife. And in that article, some of the things and some of the questions that were in it would be when you're interviewing your OB, ask them, uh, am I able to get up and move during my pregnancy? We know motion is a key point of pregnancy and making sure that everything is mobile and moving to create those contractions. Another question you might want to ask is, am I able to um, have water and food and other items during my, during my birth because you need nutrients and some people out there still are going by old research saying that you're not able to do those things. Something else you might want to be asking is, will you support me in my, in my natural birth process? I want to have a vaginal delivery. Am I going to be forced into doing something that I don't want to do? And more often than not, I've had lots of moms come back to me and they say, you know what, Dr. Kaysen, I'm really excited that you gave me those questions. Who I interviewed, who I thought would be the best fit for me, I found out that they don't support the philosophy of what me and my husband want. So then we're able to go from there and we're able to find a better fit for them. And it's all about asking more questions, empowering the moms, empowering the dads to stand up for what you want in a natural birth delivery and process or whatever your goals may be. And you can ask questions and not to feel intimidated or bullied by the traditional medical model. We do work with a lot of OBs and midwives and doulas that they support the, the birth process, but you wanna make sure you're in the right place, especially when you're talking about the overall process of be, bringing someone into the world and all these other things and side effects that you might not be aware of. Dr. Anthony. You know, it's probably one of the best decisions a pregnant mom could make and a young mother with kids would be to have their, their themselves and their kids in the office getting checked on a regular basis by a chiropractor in order to stay healthy because it sets your life up for success. Now, Dr. Kaysen was mentioning doulas, midwives, and OBs. We've connected with a numerous amount of midwives and doulas and OBs in our area and we're happy to connect people to someone in order to get the very best outcome for their birth. What we don't necessarily want is someone to not feel empowered. It's very often that I have a lady come in and they feel defeated because of the conversation that they've had with their healthcare provider as far as their pregnancy. What's been very interesting, it's been a trend and a pattern the last hundred years where Traditional medicine treats pregnancy as a disease. You have something and in order to get rid of it, you need a surgery. However, you are here right now as a result of a pregnancy and a delivery. Ladies have been doing this for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years, unassisted, and only in the last 150 years has this become a disease or a medical phenomenon. So,